Uh, but she'd better tell us because she had a crew of a few people here today and they're putting artwork together. And what it is basically is the last ditch attempt to get this to the president to say, listen, weed can help South Africa. How about it? Myrtle, there you are. Hello. Hello, hello from the couch down the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so today was a was an incredibly intense day. I've got to just show you these are these are my notes from today's um, Zoom meetings. Uh, a, a crazy amount was going on. I don't think I'll ever get used to having these Zoom meetings and trying to get everybody to have their say and to put together a whole lot of ideas. And you know, there's been this kind of malaise around everywhere as we've been adjusting to the situation. But just in the last few weeks, we've decided, no, actually, um, it's time to start shouting again. Yeah. Um, because the, the CBD thing, I think the, the announcement and the fact that it is really good news. Uh, people might be saying, oh, but what about THC and oh, oh, this, that, and that. <coughs> Generally, and speaking to everybody, the people in the know, the people who really understand um, what was published in the Government Gazette, we must remember that it is good news and we've got to ride it for everything that we can. So now we've got September looming. So what do we do? Are we just going to sit here and wait to see if they change the law, which we doubt they're going to do in September? Or are we going to actually do this last before September push and try and have our voices heard again? We've got this whole big campaign going on, and it's called Cannabis Can Help South Africa. Yes. Because we're just telling it as it is. Because we're also getting a bit sick of people saying to us, oh, yeah, but now this is where we must legalize weed. Now's the time to legalize weed. But so what are we doing about it? So it's a big, <coughs> big call to And the first thing that happens is we want to get 42,000 signatures on the petition. Yes. And then we're going to roll out all sorts of information to inform the government and, and um, educate them. We're going to could be contacting every single government department personally with a personalized email. And we've got a stakeholders list of like 150 really important people who need to know what the cannabis plant looks like to start off with. And uh, so, yeah, June is going to be a really exciting month, so I just thought I'd come on and speak at you for a bit about what's been going on in the some, somewhat boring kind of policy side of things. So the big thing is the petition, first of all, mm -hmm. and the next thing is we need an enormous digital street team who are going to, everything that we post, we need it to be shared and to go out there and uh, we've got the team from THCA, the Hemp and Cannabis Agency, who are helping us. We've got another social media team from Starbright in Pretoria, who are also on board. Um, we have uh, our amazing, amazing, awesome uh, Fields of Green team. And um, we've got, I know that we've got a lot of lawyers and people uh, who are on our side. Paul Michael, thanks for, for the support that you showed when we've been chatting. So Monday is D-Day, and it's going to be go, go, go. And uh, I'd just like to thank the team again, because I've put them under incredible amount of pressure, because we seem to be doing this at the last minute, but we're doing, doing it for 30 days. We are going to bombard social media, traditional media, with this thing that cannabis can help South Africa. It really, we really need it to come in and not be over-regulated, and for the cannabis community be able to show the government how we want to do it. And one of the ways that we can show that is by handing in 42,000 petition signatures. Yes. And this is, we must always remember, like you guys were chatting earlier, this is not just any petition. Because you'll see out on social media, there's been people writing articles, and excuse the dog, um, writing articles saying, oh, what do these petitions do anyway? And I couldn't agree more. And a vast petition has never changed the world. Mm. Neither has a change.org, neither has some cigarette petition. Where's it got us? That cigarettes are still illegal. This is a petition that is verified by the Department of Home Affairs. Mm. So we have a Home Affairs plugin on that petition, which is, uh, which is uh, stored on a secure German server. So your ID number is safe. 
Nobody's had their ID number leaked in seven years. Mm -hmm. So that's the message to get out about the petition, because it is the cornerstone of this campaign. And then the whole campaign at the end will be a letter to the president, the finance minister, and the 22 government departments that have to listen to us. Mm. So this is basically what we're going to say in the letter. We're going to say, Dear Mr. President, please allow us to show you how Dacha slash cannabis, whichever the demograph is, can help South Africa in these challenging times. Please allow us to cultivate, trade, and use this plant as we have done for hundreds of years. Please stop the SAPS harassing us, arresting us, and locking us up in cages. So that's going to be the just very direct, very um, in your face. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be no holds barred <coughs> because we've been shouting for 10 years. We've had enough. But it's also going to be very polite and very eloquent. So that's what we can look forward to at the end of the campaign is the culmination of the whole thing. So, yeah, thanks for giving me a bit of time on the show, and I'm looking forward to watching the rest of it. So Thank you, Myrtle. Sure. Um, uh, Myrtle, we got John Veet on the line. John Veet's in from Barcelona. He's waving away. So that's pretty cool. We've got a massive article in the Canamo in um, the ca this month's Canamo. There's like 7,000 okay. words wow. about South African weed and we had multiple interviews in Barcelona and that's out now in English and Spanish. So that's a school. That's amazing. So yeah, there's good. been lots going on. Um, Scott Russell, good evening. Um, <laughs>